Hey guys, today we're going to be working on this Mercedes that's been driven out in the desert. It's been full of dirt and dust. We were shooting with it and uh, just accumulated a bunch of debris all over it. As you can see, it's heavily layered with dust and dirt. We're gonna start out using the Owner's Pride Super Wash. We're putting it in a foam cannon and we're gonna pre-wash with it as well as we're gonna do a hand wash on top of that. Here's our wash bucket, multiple mitt method. We're also using the super wash inside there. guys normally I would start out with cleaning the rims and the wheels but I don't have a product from owner's pride that does that they do have an iron remover now but I don't have that so I'm gonna show you a way around it later in the video first thing I'm gonna do is start out with this rinse just to get all the loose dirt off it get underneath the wheel wells get all the rims clean as far as loose dirt and debris is concerned. Then we'll move on to the pre-foam or pre-wash as you call it. Alright, now we're done rinsing the pre-wash off, let's get started with the second foaming and the hand wash process.
love this superwash car soap. It is so slick when you're using it, you're gonna feel your mint glide across your paint. Now guys, I am working in direct sunlight, so I need to respray some more foam on it to get it wet again and keep it from spotting. Now don't forget, I still have not touched the rims. I've only foamed them twice and rinsed them. I'll show you how to clean them in a little bit. Here I'm just showing you that Superwash is safe for any of your sealants or waxes or coatings. It does not disturb the hydrophobics. With the washing done, it is now time to dry the vehicle. We're going to use the ceramic drying aid, which is an excellent product. Now while you're applying this ceramic drying aid, you could either spray it onto a damp towel, you could spray it onto the vehicle as I have done here, but just know that it's a wipe in and wipe off type of product. This towel is not made for buffing, although I'm using it for drying and for buffing as well. You must buff the drying aid off. It is not hard to do. I'll show you what that is in a second. So here I'm spraying just a couple spritzes on the hood. You don't need a whole lot of this stuff. Let's not go overboard. You need to wipe it in and wipe it off with this drying towel. I'm gonna just cover the whole hood. I'm gonna wipe it in, and then I gotta go back over it and wipe it off. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. I've missed a couple spots wiping them off. And this is what it looks like. You can see it's kind of a rainbow colored product that will be on your hood. It's very easy to get this off, especially with a damp towel. Mind you, this is not a buffing towel. This is just a drying towel and they'll evaporate right out once you go back over them. All right guys, since I didn't wash the rims by hand, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Echo Wash. That's their waterless wash, ready to use. And I'm just gonna spray it on their wheels and I'm gonna wipe them clean. And that's all you gotta do.
I'm going to use a tire shine. It's a very easy and effortless product to use. You're just going to spray it right into your applicator. You can rub over the tires. Remember, I did not clean these and they still have some dirt around them, but this just takes care of that, darkens them right up, gives them a nice deep dark matte finish. Nice perfect gloss for my liking. Finally, we're gonna use the glass cleaner. It's a very easy and streak-free product to use. Usually I can get these windows done with one towel, front and back sides. That's how good this product is. Perfect. All right guys, well, I could be done at this point. Everything looks good. I mean, look at the gloss, just awesome. I could be done, but since I have the product and I just want to layer up another bit of protection and I see a few water drips on the side that I'm gonna have to take out anyway, I might as well go ahead and use the ceramic detailer. Now I'm gonna use my very auto fiber royal plush towel. I'm gonna get some water. Gonna mist it on here, get it wet, and then I'll spray the detailer. And that's it. You're gonna go panel by panel. Let me show you. Gonna wipe it. Then you're gonna flip your towel over. You're gonna buff it off. And let me tell you, that is smooth, super smooth. Awesome. And you're just gonna go around and do the whole car that way. This product is so nice to work with. As you put it on, you'll feel it drag a little bit, your towel's dragging, all right? But as you flip the towel over and you go to buff, it is so smooth, so smooth, stupid. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now guys, I always try to look at the car in the sun and see which parts I missed. I need to buff off any extra product that I've left on there and that's the only way to get a true look at the vehicle in the sun. I just want you guys to know that I thoroughly enjoy using the Owner's Pride car care line. Not only is it easy to use, it's color coded, smells good, but the results are stunning. And it's just a simplicity of product and product line. They don't overcomplicate everything. It is what it is. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you didn't, leave your comments below. Tell me why you didn't like it. You guys have a great day.